Good morning and welcome back to Proof of Work Coin News. I am your host, Coinology. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to invest in crypto, maybe you're a first time user, or maybe you're trying to purchase something like a Litecoin or Bitcoin to transact with, Gemini's got you covered. They're currently offering $15 bonus on a $100 deposit. It's also another great way to support my channel. So what I did want to talk about today is Zilliqa is moving over to proof of stake. Um, there are a couple of people that broke on this. I think Rabid Mining was one of the first people to actually post something on this. And with that, please guys, please head over to Rabid Mining channel and subscribe. Uh, he's an amazing crypto YouTuber. Um, he's somebody that really likes to bring the news to the people. Um, that's really like a gift he has. Um, and yeah, you should follow him. So please like, follow, and subscribe to his channel. Uh, but what this is talking about is that essentially, um, Zill moving to POS, they're trying to sugarcoat the truth by saying that they will help miners transact into stakers. And why would we want to turn into stakers in the first place? We're miners. I mean, we don't care. Um, and Zillica has been using miners to uphold their network for a very long time now. And to just switch like that just shows that they had no loyalty. Very similar to like, you know, Ethereum. So very interesting. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Moving over to what's going on in the market. So currently we do have Bitcoin up 3.6%. We're sitting at $41,425. Um, if we have a look at Zill, uh, over the last year, Zill has kind of moved sideways. Over the last month, it's moved down. Last week, moving down. In the last day, it's moved up 2.9%. And I think most of that's because of Bitcoin. Uh, but we do have Conflux up 19.1%. We have Grin Token up 12.8%. We have Alethium up 14.6%. And just a lot of green. Um, we do have Flux moving down. Um, we also have Sia Coin moving down. XNA and Octospace. All right, moving over to our ASICs. Antminer KS3 on Caspa doing 76, 60, 64 dollars after power. You have the KS2 currently doing $16.30 a day, $11.98 after power. KS1 currently doing $8.15 a day, $5.99 after power. You have the Antminer D9 on Netsys doing $15.50 a day, $5.28 after power. It's probably a network that I'm going to be turning on to pretty soon here. Uh, Antminer KA3 on Kadena doing $15.18 a day, $3.82 after power. Additionally, you have the Jazzminer X16-Q on Larissa Coin doing 589, 363 after power. Larissa Coin is something that I'm going to try to avoid. Um, it's very similar to like the ETCMC nodes, um, kind of hopping on the back of the popularity of those nodes. Um, here comes Larissa Coin, very similar to like Carlson to Caspa. Um, so it's just, it's really just a copycat. Antminer S21 on Bitcoin doing 14.76 a day, 2.16 after power. Antminer E9 Pro on Ethereum Classic doing 10.26 a day, 2.16 after power. Antminer X5 on XMR doing 6.60 a day, 1.74 after power. You have the What's Miner M60 on Bitcoin doing 13.73, 1.34 after power. And you have the Ice River KS0 Pro on Caspa doing 1.63. 127 after power. Moving over to our GPUs. So we'll look here. So Alethium is in the lead on the 4090, doing 223 a day, 93 cents after power. Currently, you have the 7900 XTX on Alethium doing 86 cents a day, 33 cents after power. You have the 3090 doing 80 cents a day on Alethium, 23 cents after power. 6800 XT on Alephium doing 56 cents a day, 18 cents after power. Thirty-nine 
3070 on a lithium doing 45 cents a day, 11 cents after power, with the 3060 Ti rip behind it on a lithium doing 39 cents a day, 11 cents after power. 6600 XT on a lithium doing 26, or excuse me, 24 cents a day, 11 cents after power. 1660s on a lithium doing 22 cents a day, 9 cents after power, and the Nvidia 1660s on a lithium doing 20 cents a day, 7 cents after power. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. I really do appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.